Hello, in this episode, I would like to focus on making social login with GitHub to work seamlessly both in development and production. Now, at the moment, we have it set up for development. So we have an old application, and when I press sign in with GitHub, in development, it actually sends me in with GitHub. But in my Heroku production application, I will try to log out and sign in with GitHub. And you see, it doesn't work. It says that uh, the UI SuperRails Heroku app slash users out GitHub callback does not exist. So why is it so? Because in our OAuth application, here it is, we have just one authorization callback URL. So the callback URL with slash users out GitHub callback that works for our development environment and it doesn't work for production. Now we would need to make it work in production. And the problem is that uh, in GitHub, you cannot have multiple authorization callback URLs for one application. It is possible with Google login, but not with the uh, GitHub login. So we are going to have to create a separate and new all out application for production. We'll go to developer settings, go to all apps and create a new all app. We'll name it, let's say super Rails production the homepage URL is going to be the Heroku URL. And uh, the authorization callback URL is going to be slash users auth uh, github callback. We register the application. And now we have the client ID and we can get a client secret. So let's get the client secret. And notice we've added this authorization callback URL that we are going to use for production. So now we have two separate GitHub applications, one for login in, in development and one in production. So here is our client ID and where I'm going to edit. Now, as we are using the gem.net rails and we are using environmental variables, we have this GitHub ID and GitHub secret that we set in development in a .NET file and we need to set them in production. So we're going to go to our application. Here's the application on Heroku. We go to settings. Here we have config variables and we reveal the config variables. And here we have keys and values. Now we are going to add a key. A key is going to be named GitHub ID. And a value is going to be the client ID from here. I press add. And we're going to have one more key, GitHub secret. And the value is going to be the client secret. Okay. Now I've, uh, I don't have a possibility to, to see this client secret once again. I will just generate a new client secret. I will copy it, paste it in the value and say add. Now it's going to take a few seconds for the application to reboot because each time when we change config variables on Heroku, the application reboots and we'll see if it works in the production. Basically we've created a new or out application with separate credentials that we have added to our Heroku application and importantly, a new authorization callback URL. And here we are, I press sign in with GitHub and you see now we are on the OmniAuth authorization page. We press authorize and it works. So this way it works both in development and production. Now you will need to have separate credentials and you will need to have two separate GitHub OmniAuth applications to make it work. And that's basically it.